Fired reactor. Roll off. What's up, Reactorites? I'm John. I'm Mike. And we're going to be checking out the latest episode of Gotham. This is the second appearance of Victor Fries, a.k.a. Mr. Freeze. And uh, this episode is titled... A Dead Man Feels No Cold. Alright, so let's check it out. I'm coming for you, Nora. I'm coming to save you. Tonight, a freeze. <laughs> <laughs> This looks, looks like it's shot by a, what's his name? Joel Schumacher. Joel Schumacher. <laughs> They're like crazy camera angle. Where is everybody? Everybody, kill. <laughs> Ace Chemicals makes the liquid helium Ace Victor Price uses to power his weaponry. I used to meet you. <laughs> Wow. What's he planning? Free my wife. Hmm. Bruce, you need closure. Exactly. Closure. Not a dangerous and possibly endless obsession. Hmm. <laughs> I'll find him. So you find the culprit. What then? I'll let the law take its course. Is that the truthful answer? It's the answer I'm giving you. <laughs> oh. Oh. This conversation has been very useful. <laughs> Clarifying. Perhaps we can do it again sometime. <laughs> sure, we can do that. He's gonna have to learn wow. to be the... Free my wife. Playboy later on. Yeah. This guy thinks by killing seven cops he can get us to free his wife? I'll free my boot off his frozen ass! <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch on the couch! It's time! <laughs> but what about we'll be ready for him? And we'll take him. Where is she now? In a holding cell. You're not cell, taking me to the corner. <laughs> he says if she it's safe for Nora, but it's not safe for me. No, 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 no. Look. Yeah, no. keep thinking, hotshot. I'm gonna get myself. <laughs> no, you know what I meant. If you use this on me, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> Spider-Man. <-Man. laughs> Donald? They have no idea. Grenades? Very cool. Ice grenades. Water. Holy crap. Don't learn. Oh. <laughs> He's OP. <laughs> Make your next decision very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Not the Oculus Rift. <laughs> I trust you won't mind sharing the wing with our dear Ms. Keene. Uh -oh. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, do you know Sleeping Beauty? That's my name for her. So lovely. So still. Like an angel. Uh-huh. <laughs> Is there a problem? Jim Gordon, uh -oh. I lied for you! Oh. And you got me on him! Not me, it was him! It was him! Is was he doing him. that, uh, Naruto sign? Do <laughs> <laughs> the hand sign? <laughs> yes. Say it. We find him. We make him talk. You kill him. Older man, yeah, he's getting taller. Wow, he's, he's grown a lot since the mid season. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, bitch, oh. <laughs> 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 
Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> Tron slash hockey man. <laughs> oh. oh. Chill. <laughs> what, did I, what an asshole. <laughs> what the hell? Uh oh. Why would he do that? Let's see. Process works. So I shall wake up one day with you in prison. We're dead. The life alone is the one that I want. I'll be there when you wake up. I'll be there. I'll find a way. I will. There's always hope. As long as you're alive, there's hope, right? Yes. There's hope. Go. I'm strong enough to use it if I need to. Selena. I felt the breeze when you came in the window. <laughs> it's getting better. <laughs> died in Arkham Infirmary. They couldn't revive him. Died. <laughs> you okay? Wish you hadn't put our baby at risk. Oh. You put oh. us at risk oh. when you put Nora oh. at risk. She was under my care. That was different. That was police work. What about Galavan? Was that good police work too? What about him? The way he died. Whatever the truth is, it's not what you told oh. me. Oh, oh, oh. How do you know? Because I know when you're being dishonest. It's you. You lie to me. Huh? Nothing to say? <laughs> oh, poor penguin. Leave him alone. No. I must go see to our newest guest. This white hair. It's so different. Like I don't like, even recognize <laughs> him. Yeah. He's like, what's his name? Angel from Fight Club. <laughs> oh, who's that? Who's that? Who is it? Theo Galvan. Oh, oh. Jerome. Oh. It's Jerome. So, 
Wow, that ending where we get to see uh, Theo, and then we get to see Jerome. So they're they're gonna come back. That's very, it's very interesting because yeah. Hugo Strange, this guy, this guy is like the mastermind now. He's he's got the Penguin locked in Arkham Asylum. He's like doing experiments on him, and now he's helping out, uh, you know, Mister Freeze. And wow, wow. I don't know what else he's capable of, but this is clearly, he's clearly the main villain for uh, this second part of season two. Yeah. Um, you know, the whole thing I think a lot of fans will kind of talk about and debate on is like, they, they kind of changed uh, Mr. Freeze's origin a little bit. Mm -hmm. They tweaked it. What did you think about the difference? Because obviously we know Nora Freeze, uh, she lives, you know, yeah. she's, she's always in cryostasis, but she's alive and then now she's gone. Maybe she's still alive. Maybe that crack <laughs> that you saw was just, uh, you know, it's just her slowly. Uh, I don't know. I think. I think. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is Hugo Strange <laughs> probably figure out a way to save her because okay. he he saved uh, Victor, you know, from dying. So he probably figured out a way. Like maybe later on he'll use that as leverage. Like, hey, Victor, if you don't do what I say, here's Nora. And then you're gonna show her in that uh, the tube, the tube, yeah. and just like flowing with like the hair moving all around, and especially the necklace. Like yeah. they they had a lot of good things, and like I liked uh, a lot of like stuff, little stuff that fans will know. And mm -hmm. it's like I like that their their last like moments together were really good, like because yeah. we never see that as fans. We never see that in any of like the movies or comics and. Even the animated series, we mm -hmm. saw none of that. You know? Yeah, I, I I just wish that uh, it wasn't her idea to freeze herself to like, uh, you know, kill herself. Uh, just you know, show show that she still cares about him, and then him feeling like he still needs to uh, you know save her. Cause that's like that's what makes Mister Freeze an interesting villain, cause he's always trying to save uh, Nora. Yeah. And now like because she wants to die, it's like he's gonna have that mindset of well, she didn't like the way I became. So why am I gonna save her? You know, I might as well just kill myself, which he did. Yeah. So I wish that it was like the cops or someone else that ruined their plans. Like uh, them loving each other, they're about to save each other, and then Gordon comes in and ruins everything, <laughs> and actually, he actually freezes her, or something. Something happens where he blames the cops. That would have been better. So now he has more of a motive to like keep on fighting. Yeah, because as of right now, he has like literally no motive to like continue on living like he could yeah. just kill himself right now <laughs> like yeah he's talking to hugo strange he could just, just like grab some ice and just like stab himself in the wrist yeah. until he died yeah what's his motive now what uh strange just says oh you're not him anymore you're just another person so just be that other person it's like uh okay i guess so <laughs> <laughs> yeah i hope i hope what they did what you said though like they reveal that Nora is alive so yeah it gives him a reason to continue working yeah because he and, still doesn't have a cure yeah and, yeah. I, and I like that um mr freeze he's always been a guy that's caring he's never really like fully a villain like he has good motives so th if they go along with this version where he's just going out there and just being another person and just killing and it defeats the purpose of why I liked Mr. Freeze in the first place of uh, where he just does whatever it takes to save Nora yeah so I mean other than I mean Mr. Freeze was the majority of this episode I liked a little bit more of uh, Hugo Strange B.D. Wong as Hugo Strange mm -hmm. it's a little things he did here and there were, were funny and I think you got to see a little bit more of him in this episode, um, but the whole like, what's his plan? What is what's what's this what's all his game plan? Yeah. Like, pretty much, he's saving Mister Freeze. He's got he's got Jerome. He's got Theo Galvan. Uh, so, uh, what is what is it? What do you have any theories? I don't know. The only thing I can think of is that it's still it's because you know he has this fixation with Batman. Like in the comics later on, when Batman comes to be, he has this fixation with him. So I can I can kind of see why he would after maybe creating all these like characters and villains and then like having Batman being the constant that like came out of nowhere and then mm -hmm. defeated them or something. But yeah. you you don't have that backstory for Hugo Strange, so it's kind of weird. So just to judging from that end scene where they're frozen, so these are like really really bad dudes, and uh, so he's got all of them under his wing mm -hmm. so um, he has a fascination with really powerful villains really powerful bad evil men and i think he wants to like somehow uh just try you know just use them all just use them as puppets and he's like the puppet master and he wants to like unleash them onto the world that's what i'm thinking that's his like ultimate game plan and that's if that does happen that's kind of cool 
Yeah, because I think this is called the the Wrath of Villains or something. That's because remember before it was like Villains Rising. Yeah, it was like their semicolon or whatever sub mm -hmm. subtitle. Yeah, uh, or whatever. And then this this uh, since the mid season premiere, it's been uh, whatever Wrath of Villains. So I think that's where they're all going to come back, and we're going to mm -hmm. obviously we've seen hints of Theo Galavan from uh, set photos and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. So, We'll see. I yeah. mean, it's, there's a lot of there's a lot of the stuff left. I mean, you get to saw uh, Barbara for a quick second. Oh yeah, Barbara. So let's see what they do with that because right now she's just a uh, sleeping beauty. And then of course uh, we have Lee. Uh, she's still pregnant. <laughs> and then oh, we got to talk about we forgot to talk about Bruce Wayne. Just yeah. him, just becoming more calculated, becoming more of a manipulator, like just lying to people, lying to Lee, lying, lying to Alfred. And uh, so it's just, we get to see it's just him just being very different from what he was before. Yeah, and like me and John said during the, the reaction, like he, he's like, he's getting bigger. You know, the guy, uh, David, I forget his last name, but he's, he has grown since the, the, the mid-season break. Like he's, he's getting bigger, he's getting taller, and uh, he's, he's got that whole like deadpan down now and just wait. He's, he's gonna morph more into Batman. It's so if Gotham succeeds, like if they keep, if Fox keeps on renewing the show, we're gonna get to see uh, him, uh, Bruce Wayne, just grow older and older. And I want to see him become Batman slowly, going out there and fighting people, kind of like what we saw at the beginning of Batman Begins, or even uh, some of the flashback scenes in Batman: Mask of the Phantasm. Just him, just going out there, putting on like some cheap, cheap outfits, just, just uh, you know, feeling the. The dark underground of Gotham. That would be cool. He'd be like, maybe he goes into like at the tail end, of the last two seasons, or like the first two seasons of Arrow, mm -hmm. and then that's it. Like he just the last thing you see is him like actually dressed up as Batman. You're yeah. Because like, uh, I don't know. The, we, as we've seen with other shows, DC's very weird when it comes to their their you know their properties because it's stuff that's on the show, and then the stuff that's in the movies are kind of like uh, you can you can't use that, but you can use this. I don't know, we'll see. So let us know what you thought of this episode. Uh, did you like the story of Mr. Freeze finally becoming Mr. Freeze? And do you like, you know, so far what we've seen of Hugo Strange? And uh, what do you think of B.D. Wong as Hugo Strange? And uh, would you like to see more of Bruce Wayne growing older and just being more calculated and going out there and fighting crime and maybe killing, killing the killer? <laughs> well, we'll see. So let us know in the comments below. I'm John. I'm Mike. And we'll see you guys later.